hello viewers i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today i am going to tell you about the business rules in dynamics crm that is uh, a very important topic regarding uh, setting various conditions uh, whenever you design any fields or records in uh, attributes in an entity there comes some uh, there comes many conditions in which you have to set some field values based on the values of uh, some other fields okay we will give you a scenario but before giving you a scenario let me tell you uh, how business rules operate business rule normally operates on if then else statements uh, that have been uh, that is a common topic of uh, all of the computer science students whenever they go through their uh, theoretical curriculum they uh, and in initial programming learning techniques you have learned this condition that is if then else in that it is very similar the condition is if the condition is uh, uh, fulfilled then perform the action the required action is taken else if any another condition is fulfilled then perform another action okay so if we go into the practical demonstration here i'm going to show you that this is my custom module and I am I'm making a biodata form <coughs> for example in biodata form I have uh, four fields the first field is employee name the second field is date of birth the next field is experience and the next field is category so these four fields are uh, for example if I enter any record Frankenstein is the name of the employer if I go and set his date of birth let's say i set his date of birth as uh, 20th august now if uh, i want that whenever i select any experience the category changes automatically for example if i select two years experience the category uh, that is auto selected in this field is junior similarly if i want to select uh, experience greater than five years the category will be set to intermediate and similarly if i select 10 years the category is selected to the professional okay so in this value this is the condition if the value is set that is condition then perform the action that is the action okay so in this way if else condition works and now let's see how we can uh, implement it practically okay so i'm going to discard it right now right now you are seeing that uh, Whenever I select any value, no, not, uh, no action is performed on this particular field category. So I'm going to uh, go into <coughs> settings, customizations, and customize the system. Here I go into entities. And in entities, there is my uh, biodata form. In biodata form, if I extend it, here you can see that there is a business rule. So I will go into the business rule and click on new business rule. So whenever I click a new business rule, <coughs> a new uh, dialog box will be appeared in which there is a, a business rule that is text view. This is a graphical view which we will plot right now. And uh, these are the flow that is condition. Whenever any condition is uh, validated or checked, these type of actions can be performed using the business rule that is you can add a recommendation you can lock or unlock the uh, view you can show error message you can set field value you can set default value you can set business required value okay and you can set the visibility to either on or off okay so these are the actions that can be performed when any condition is validated so uh, right now we are going to add a condition so you will notice that whenever I will amend this condition the text view of this business rule will also be uh, amended accordingly so I click on this I will name it as junior set <coughs> and uh, my source will be entity and if I set the experience value equals value two years okay i will apply it so the if condition that is the condition has been validated now i will add 
the action that is at set field value now these are the two indicators the one is tick and the next one is cross tick means if that condition is fulfilled then the action will be performed in this way and if you want that if the condition is not fulfilled you can perform any action here that's a business uh, that's a common and uh, very simple business logic and i think that it's uh, clear to all of you that uh, i'm going to now set the value or set the action on when the condition is fulfilled so whenever the experience value equals two years i will add a condition here that i will set the field value to junior i will set the category to junior okay and i will apply similarly after applying what i will do i will add a lock here okay category field will be locked so that the user cannot change it himself that field is auto changed depending upon the condition so right now here you can see that if experience equals two years this value then this action will be performed that set category to junior and lock the value now if that condition is not fulfilled let's say that the value that the user has selected is not junior then i will add another condition here the condition will be for intermediate option so i will name it for my remembering <coughs> And I will say that if the qualification equals, sorry, if the experience equals five years, okay, then apply, add set field value here. I will set the field value to the intermediate, okay. So I will say that the category field will be set to intermediate, and after that. A lock will I will set the lock on that field so that any user cannot change it okay now if that condition is not fulfilled another condition will appear and again if that condition is not fulfilled then the third condition will be for my professional level that if my employees experience is greater than uh, 10 years then experience is uh, equals value 10 years if that value is selected what will happen i will add the set field value to professional okay and after that after applying it i will add the value lock here <coughs> i will set lock on category item and apply it now my all three options have been cleared and the statement is like that you can see the text view of this statement that you have just plotted in a graph in an if else condition and after that i will save it it means that there is one error message let's see i have not filled added the field here category lock okay after applying i will save it if the value is saved successfully it means that there is no error in this uh, plotted business rule and you are good to go to implement it practically and you can also validate it here the validation is successful and after that i am going to activate it okay the uh, business rule has been activated successfully and its scope is for all forms and uh, here you can see that new business rule has been activated now i will publish all customizations now we will go into custom module biodata form and check our business rule validity <coughs> the name of the employee is frankenstein the state of birth will be let's say this is his date of birth now if i select two years here you can see that the value has been set to junior if i select here five years the value is ultimately selected to intermediate and if i select 10 years the category value will be set to professional and similarly since the field has been locked 
we have also applied a locked on uh, changing the condition or setting the value now you cannot amend it as a user so in this way uh, I have I'm going to uh, click save and in this way you can set various conditions of your business rules using your uh, if then else statements I thank you all for watching this short tutorial and uh, guys please subscribe my channel who are new visitors and enjoy watching more videos i thank you